guys welcome back it's by charlie my name is olivia and today i'm talking about the second episode of my experiences in the philippines and today i'm going to be talking about going to the market for the first time yes guys going to the market for the first time sincerely um language barrier is a thing is a thing it's really a thing in case you've not actually lived in a country where maybe you have different languages you may not really understand but some people if you're in nigeria maybe you 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 go to the west maybe you're from the eastern part and you go to the west where maybe you've encountered people that don't understand your language i don't know that feeling yeah that feeling but at least there is a common language if you're in nigeria there's a common language people speak that you can use and express yourself okay but here it's not the same thing these people they don't understand what you're trying to explain so on this faithful day okay on this faithful day i i went to the market so i wanted to buy wool wool i think i'm going to insert a a picture of wool you if you're watching you should know wool that they used to make hair yeah wool. so i went to the market though and i went to the first shop i told them that i'm looking for wool that um i explained it to them i explained it to them so the man said we don't have it this is this this and i said go to that place so i went to i went to the place he said i should go to they say ma'am we don't have what you are looking for you can go down now that's how i kept going down <laughs> that's how i kept going down 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 and i didn't see it i didn't see it and the more i explain to them it, it looks as if the more i explain to them the more they get confused and the funny thing is that some people will even see you approaching because you're a foreigner and they don't understand english they don't understand what you're going to tell them they're just going to start moving away they won't even allow you to come closer to them okay so it was kind of frustrating that day. it was kind of frustrating and to to say the fact that I forgot like it didn't occur to me that I would have gotten a picture of what I was looking for sincerely it didn't occur to me that I would have gotten a picture of what I was looking for to show them because I felt when I explain it to them now they are going to understand that view that's how I went around the market that whole day I kept going round and round and I was not able to get the world so I entered my transport and went back home effort wasted <laughs> so what happened was i i went when i got back i told one of my friends that see i went to the market to buy this thing you know, and they kept telling me go here when i go there they say they don't have it when i go there they say they don't have it when i go there they say they don't have it she was like ah that did i show them picture? i said no that i didn't have a picture that i felt <laughs> i felt when i explained it <laughs> that they were going to understand me she was like okay that uh the weekend of that day she's going we are going to go to the market together i was like ah thank god so my brothers and sisters the weekend of that week that was me and this my friend went again to the market together this time around so when we got to the first shop that very first place i went the last week we explained we explained to the man again we didn't show him picture we explained to the man the man like hey just go down keep going so i told my friend that this is what this man told me the last i said don't worry let's just go down so we went to that shop the place he pointed we went there but i think that first man really understood what we were looking for just that the rest of the people that we are going to do not understand what we are looking for okay so apparently what they call it is yarn but in nigeria we call it wool now now we've been saying wool wool they say they don't know what it is so we went to that other shop and we told we explained to the person there two girls so young girl we explained to them what we are looking for they said they don't have it that we should go to somewhere like that we kept explaining it to them so as my friend was explaining me i was not looking around <laughs> i was looking around the shop to see if maybe i could see a resemblance of what i was looking for and fortunately for me i saw a wool there the, the, the wool i was looking, i saw it but it was another color so i said Mambo, look at what we are describing for you. She was like, ah, you mean yan? We are like, 
<laughs> so that day we actually went to the experiment. <laughs> we actually we said, You mean Yan? We are like, Oh, is it Yan that is called? We're like, Yeah, it's Yan that is called that they have Yan, but they don't have wool. I'm like, Okay, okay. So it's Yan we are looking for now. We're not looking for wool again. So this is what we are looking for. That was how this woman went to inside her shop. Now, brought oh my gosh she has it a lot different colors she even has the exact color i was looking for and that was how i was looking at my friend like this and it was funny to us because how you can be explaining something for somebody and because they don't understand your dialect or your accent they tell you they don't have it in fact some people will even avoid talking to you <laughs> because they feel they cannot understand what you're telling them so that was my first market experience then the second one was a friend of mine also I, I i felt like okay maybe i just have a lot to learn in this country finally so a friend of mine went to market i think the following week he wanted to get a net like the net they put on on the window so that was how he went to the market too he was telling them he wants to get net 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 they were like they don't know what it is they've not heard of it before this one that one they were showing him fishing line and i was like no this is not what i'm looking for so what happened was that after going around the market that day he still came back and what he now did was he took a sample a sample and now went to the market to show them and <laughs> as funny as this sound the very first shop he went for the previous day they had it though <laughs> they had it just that they did not understand what he was looking for so i feel if you're going to travel or maybe you're going to be in a country where there is this language barrier or language difference it's best when you want to go to the market eh? if you can download pictures of what you're looking for what you're going to buy especially yeah if you can download pictures of what you're going to buy especially if it's something like maybe the pronunciation is different from this you may not really know so you would have to really show them for them to really know that see this is what i'm looking for and they will help you and get it but the good thing is that they are very helpful they are accommodating in fact they are friendly when they see you they'll keep asking you oh so which country are you from they would like to engage you in discussion that's if they can speak english the people that can speak will interact or people that feel that they have difficulty expressing themselves in english will just avoid you so that way a lot of foreigners feel that um filipinos are avoidant but the thing is because they cannot really interact with you in the language you'll understand but they feel that they cannot understand you so they they are coming now. <laughs> they are coming now. yeah sincerely like i feel like sharing one more experience but this one is very oh my god i don't know if i should share it. let me share it on the video yeah so this one we are we are going for duty yeah we were coming back from duty so apparently one of my friend was stained oh my god and our uniform is white because we are nurses so and filipinos were walking behind us these people did not tell her that she stained i feel because they did not know how to talk to her they didn't they felt i don't know maybe they felt she's going to i don't know they, maybe they felt that she's not going to understand what they are saying or something like that and the distance was so much so before we realized it uh, we already reached school and the distance between the place we are having a posting and school is quite a distance and oh, it was just it was such an experience and i think that made her or that made us all of us actually land we are actually very very conscious about ourselves because people so nobody will tell you they will not tell so if you're with someone maybe a friend or someone from your country then they will tell you but these people they will just look they will just look out like they didn't see anything but it's a good experience it, it actually um, helped us to know how to adapt, adjust ourselves and our expectations. And cool. Yeah, and oh my god, yeah, this is all exactly three years of my stay in this country. And so far, it's been worthwhile. 
God has been faithful to me. Yes, I can say God has been faithful. Though it has not really been easy. The it has not really been easy to say the truth, but God has been faithful. God has been faithful. And I'm actually so grateful to God. I'm actually so, I don't know whether you've had any wacky experience like mine. <laughs> This is the second episode and I still have many more. <laughs> I still have many more coming. Yeah, maybe I'll just cut it. Yeah, I may, not, I may not want to tell all of them. Maybe I'll just cut and tell very few more. Yeah, maybe like one or two more. Maybe two or more videos and that would be it. So thank you so much for coming to um, my channel today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am actually doing this video because I actually feel so grateful. I feel so grateful for how far God has actually brought me in this country and how far He has kept me. And I'm actually also thankful of how far I've grown. Yeah, because I didn't know I was going to be able to survive in a country where people have maybe different language. I didn't overthink it, but then somehow looking back i'm actually grateful i've learned a bunch of stuff i've learned not not how not to hold things to my chest that's one of the lessons i've learned mm. i've learned how not to hold things to my chest and how just to <laughs> live life as it goes yeah and i've also learned how to depend on god solely for survival and it has been amazing it has been amazing and I look forward to seeing your comments, more of your comments, the likes, the shares, and share this video, trust me, and share, like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will still see you in my next video. Thank you for stopping by with me. My name is Olivia, and this is Olive Support, okay? Um, help me grow my channel. I'm begging you. Thank you. God bless. Just remember that you are loved. I celebrate you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.